Father. Let's turn to weather now and Chief Meteorologist Margaret. Or on this great St. Patrick's Day, we're all in our green. Well, never mind. Right. I'll look we to, are. I know she can't wear green because of the, the weather wall. I am going to explain. Are you going to show us a trick? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I want you to notice there is a lot of green to the west. For us, though, it is looking beautiful. Let's take this full and I'll take a stroll on over to the weather wall. So on St. Patrick's Day, I am, of course, Irish, but I can't wear green because the screen behind me is green. Let's bring back the graphic and there you can see the map. If I were to wear green, you would not see me. You would see the map and I would be wearing the map, which is kind of interesting. So here is a look at what's happening. We've got high pressure in the Gulf. We've got this westerly flow, cold front to the north. It's going to get close. I really don't see it moving through just yet. We've got a whole lot of rain beginning to develop in Texas and it's going to be moving to the north. Now, what's going to happen to Tomorrow is that as this front moves to the south, there is a marginal risk for severe weather. That would be more likely southwest Mississippi into the central portion of Louisiana. But we can't rule out the potential for a strong thunderstorm that would have strong gusty winds. Upper level low has now moved into Texas. Remember yesterday, last night, it was over Baja, California. Upper level high in the Gulf. And that's helping to transport all of this moisture to our north. But our rain chances will increase as that cold front comes a little bit closer. Right now, not a raindrop out there. We're looking great. Just some high and mid-level clouds. So that as we go into the morning, over towards Terrebonne Parish, the potential that you could have some patchy, dense fog. But in this model, not seeing rain. Then we're going to the noontime hour, not seeing much rain. That's just with this one particular model. I'm going with a 30% chance. But in the afternoon, your rain chances go up. The potential that you could have that strong storm. So here we are, four in the afternoon. You're picking the kids up from school, and we've got rain and thunderstorms over the causeway, too. Then at about 11 o'clock, that mess moves out. But over southwest Mississippi, still the potential for some strong storms. How much rain? This model showing about a half an inch for tomorrow. So we can look at the big picture, and the front gets kind of close. High pressure in the Gulf, a southwest flow, a little area of disturbed weather moves through. Looks like it's mainly in the afternoon. Then we look at your Thursday. Front stays to the north, high pressure in the Gulf, and onshore flow. So I think it's still going to be fairly warm, upper 70s to near 80. Going into Friday, this front gets closer, and it looks like it's going to move through late Friday into Saturday. Your rain chances are going to go up for Saturday and for Sunday. High today, 86, just missed that record high of 87. Over at the airport, new record high, 88. Over at Gulfport, new record high, 86. And in Grand Isle, Brad said it was a gorgeous day. Look at this incredible shot. It's from NOLA GMJ. Ty from Madisonville said it was just gorgeous. And then here is one from Cole, who is only six years old. So thank you for that twit pick. Three in the afternoon, upper 70s, rain and storms likely. Thursday, upper 70s, spring arrives on Friday. I'm really excited about this. Over the weekend, one front moves through, not quite as warm. And then another front moves through for your Monday and Tuesday, a little bit cooler.